In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS to switch camera angles and positions either automatically or by you pressing a shortcut. Let's get into it. So if you've not already learned how to set up different camera angles in different scenes, please stop the video here, click the top right hand corner and go watch our guide on how to set up OBS like a professional. In there, you will have different scenes, you'll have different camera angles. And once you've done that, you can head back to this video and continue. So the first method I'm going to show you is how to set up OBS to operate the camera switches with shortcut keys or hotkeys. So as you can see, I've got OBS opened here and I've got two scenes set up. I've got this face cam, hello everyone. And I've got this close up cam on the decks. So, what I want to do first of all is I want to rename these scenes. Now you don't have to do this, but it makes it a lot easier when you're actually live to be able to glance and see which camera is which. So I'm just going to rename these scenes. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click rename and I'll call this face camera. And then I'm going to put a dash and then a number one. Now with bugging OBS, don't press enter once you've changed the name, just click off. Don't know why that is, but if you press enter, it just deletes what you've typed in. And I'm going to change this one as well to deck cam, and I'll name that number two. Now, the reason I'm naming these one and two is because that's the shortcut key I'm going to assign to them. Of course, if you don't want to use the number keys or you want to do something different, feel free to name them scenes, whatever you want. So now we've done this, I'm just going to head over to the settings over here on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, we can see this area called hotkeys. When we click hotkeys, we can see we've got loads and loads of um, options here. And basically what we can do is we can sign keyboard shortcuts to any of these buttons. So, you know, if I want the stop and start button on the recording to change or on the start and stop stream, I can actually go ahead and map those. But in today's tutorial, we're not bothered about mapping those. What we're bothered about is the camera angles, which is the scenes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna scroll down and you can see here, face camera one, deck cam two. They're the scenes. So as you can see, face cam one, switch to scene. So what I do is I click inside the box. It's a bit hard to see with my dark mode enabled on the laptop, but there's a blue box just around there now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press the number one. You see it's entered that there. Now, this also accepts modifier keys. So if I just delete that, what you can do is you can press shift and one, you can press command and one, you can press control and one. So if I press command and one, there we go. Command one is now the shortcut to change the camera. But I originally wanted the number one, so I'm just gonna leave it as one. And then I need to do the exact same up in deck cam two. Switch to scene, I'm gonna press two because that is the number I assigned it earlier. Again, you don't need to name your scenes, the shortcuts, but I find it a lot easier just to glance whilst I'm DJing and go, oh yeah, deck cam is on number two. Really helps if you've got a lot of scenes, a lot of camera angles going. So click OK. Now in the mode we're in, if I go ahead and press two or one, you'll see that absolutely nothing has happened and nothing's changing. So why is that? Basically, if you can look down here on the left hand side, scenes, uh, face camera one is currently highlighted. I don't know why this is, but if anything's highlighted down there, the, your modifier keys and your hotkeys won't work. So what you have to do, take your mouse, just click out of that area, away from the canvas, just click off like that, nothing's highlighted. You'll see the camera isn't highlighted anymore, the scene's not highlighted. And then if I press two, we're over to the deck cam, one, straight back, really easy. I've done this on all of my streams so far. Works a treat, enables me to take control of when the camera's switched. So if I'm getting on the mic, I'll quickly head to the face cam. And then when I'm back to DJing, straight back to the deck cam, do my DJing and whatnot. And then I'm back on the mic again, back to the face cam. It's really easy. And because it's only one button, you're not having to like get away from your stream and be like this in your laptop. Really simple, really easy. So that's how you set up your hotkeys to change the camera manually. But what if your computer is out of reach? What if you're setting up your DJ here and your computer is maybe behind the camera and you know you can't get to it? So you want your scenes to just change automatically. 
Well, you can do this, but the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download a plugin for OBS. You can get this plugin on the internet. Just type in Advanced Scene Switcher in OBS. I will have a link to this in the description below. And once you're here, you need to download the uh, zip file. It's on the right-hand side of the page here. Go to download, press that. And you'll see we've just downloaded a zip file. Now, don't worry, Windows users, Mac users, and Linux users, every single version you need is in this one zip file. So don't go scrolling through the page looking for a Windows-specific version. It's all in here. Open up this file. And you'll find we've got a readme.txt. When you open that, it's just instructions on how to install the plugin on your system. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to show you how to quickly install it on the Mac. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need a new window. So I'm just going to put these two windows side by side. And you need to head to your applications. When you're in your applications, you need to find the OBS. Right click on OBS and show package content. Go into the content and then you need to go into plugins. When you've opened up the plugins folder, go back to the original plugin folder, scroll to Mac OS, and if you're on the latest version, use the latest version at the bottom here. If you're on an older version of OBS, you will need to use the older version, which is above. Simply grab this, drag it over. I've already installed it, so it's showing that, you know, do you want to replace this? I don't. But once you've installed that by dragging that in, that is all you need to do and then you can simply relaunch OBS. When you've relaunched OBS inside the program, when you go up to the top, you'll see in tools, we now have advanced scene switcher. Now don't get confused with automatic scene switcher. Automatic scene switcher comes in OBS built in, but it doesn't allow us to do what we want to do. So go to the advanced scene switcher, and then there's quite a lot in this plugin. You can do so much, and there's other tutorials on YouTube explaining how to do the other things inside uh, the advanced scene switcher, but we're just gonna focus on using time as a parameter to change between the different camera angles. So what I want to do is go up to screen sequence. So what I'm gonna do here is, I can see here it says when face camera one is active, switch to, and I want to click that to deck cam. And then it says after a certain amount of time. So let's say I want it to be on, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to say five seconds. And then you can choose if you want it just to cut straight away or fade. I always use fade because it looks a bit more professional. And then you press the plus arrow. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change these settings. So because it will have changed to deck cam two. So I'm going to go to deck cam two. When I'm on deck cam two, because it will have switched to that is active, I want to switch to, and I'm going to go to face camera number one. Now, if you've got, say, five cameras, what you'll want to do is you'll want to set the order so it creates a circle, and that way it loops and will forever keep changing without you having to change anything. So if you've got five cameras, you basically want to go from one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and then you want to get five to go back to one, because one will go back to two and restart the cycle. So I'm going to create this. Five seconds again, and I'll do it with a cut this time. So you can see that I've now got a circle because it goes from deck to camera two to camera one, and then camera one to camera two. Once I've entered these, I'm gonna to go to general, and it says here, advanced scene switcher is inactive. Press the start button and change that to active, and as soon as you do that, without you doing anything, OBS will start switching the cameras for you, from camera one to camera two, and back again, until you go back into advanced scene switcher and turn this off. So even if you close OBS and reopen it, you will find if you haven't turned it off, it will just start on its own. It's almost like a ghost doing it. So I'm gonna press start here, and you'll see it's on camera two. Five seconds will pass. Camera one, that was a cut. And then hopefully it should fade now to camera two, and it is doing. And that's how you set up OBS to manually change your cameras with hotkeys or to automatically change it after a certain amount of time. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
I hope your streams are going well. Wherever you are streaming from, let us know in the comments below. We will read them and we love hearing your stories of streaming and how you're keeping busy during this weird, weird time we find ourselves in. Remember to like this video, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos just like this. Keep safe. I will see you in another video sometime soon. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in a bit.